Hello and uh, welcome to Southeast Florida. We are currently in a, a new two and a half acre Cravo A-frame house with a company called Green Life Farms and they're growing premium quality baby leaf greens like romaine and spinach year round. Uh, the Cravo structure is a, has a retractable roof and a retractable open shade and humidity venting screen as well as an insect uh, curtain. We're lucky today to uh, have the introduction to this facility by uh, Greg Graft. Greg Graft is the operations manager and head grower here at Green Life Farms. Uh, good day, Greg. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing today? Terrific. Greg, um, thank you for taking the time to um, uh, talk to our viewers a little bit about Green Life Farms and uh, your experience uh, using the retractable roof production system um, in this really uh, high technology innovation facility here in Southeast Florida. Could you start perhaps by um, telling us a little bit about Green Life Farms and this farm in particular? Sure, most definitely. Uh, I've been growing for about a little over 20 years hydroponically. Uh, Green Life Farms is a floating raft technology farm. So we have about 100,000 square foot of growing space. We're doing baby small leafy greens. Uh, production time on these leafy greens are three to four days in germination and typically at about 17 to about 23 days in production. So the way this works for us is we'll bring those boards out to the far end of the pool, which is 400 feet long. They get entered onto the to one end and then over that course of 17 to 23 days, they will work their way all the way down the length of the pool. So on day 17, if it's a product like baby kale, it'll come off the water. So whoever's working down in this particular area, they'll pull the boards that are ready to come off. At the same time, you'll have another crew member down at the rear of the facility putting freshly germinated boards that have just come out of germination onto the water. So we would keep that cycle continuously moving. So a very quick moving process. Uh, it does uh, fluctuate a little bit seasonally. So sometimes maybe summertime, you might be looking at products as short as 14 to 15 days and maybe max of like 20, 21 days. So depending on the crop, they are all a little bit different, but a very quick turning crop. So we're currently looking at harvesting every type of uh, variety we grow every day, uh, typically somewhere in the neighborhood of about 2,000 pounds a day. Terrific. Your background is in conventional greenhouses. What have your experiences been as a first time grower in a retractable roof? Well, I say that uh, I don't think I realized until maybe it was like a subconscious thing. I think you and I have had conversations and I noticed uh, after working in poly and glass and other polycarbonate uh, materials over so many years, so much of my focus was always on trying to get rid of heat and humidity. Uh, and it was like a really exasperating issue to try to constantly you know, work through. And it was really nice to have a structure that was more of an agricultural structure that was like growing outdoors, but you still had that controlled environment indoors to where anything that comes in, whether it be you know really heavy winds or rain or anything that might be destructive of the crop, we can close up any of the roots, we can shade, we can uh, pull insect netting if we have any type of robust insect issues or anything that might come our way, but yet we can fully retract, get as much UV light in for those color crops that we need, good color, get a lot of good airflow so we can really help to toughen up the stems, really get good root development and really get good like crops that not only are really healthy and tasty and hearty, but we also are noticing they're holding up really super well when it comes to like once they're a finished product. And we've been testing product in the refrigerator that's held up upwards of 22 days and looked almost as good as the day that it was like put in the container. So we can really tell that's all about like what's taking place in here because I've grown the same types of products under a poly type house that are so baby that you know they'll go into these grocery stores and just really just don't have that that shelf life they just don't hold up as well they don't taste as well and it just takes a lot to really baby in here it's like mother nature but we still have that prevention of like anything harmful that comes in to try to damage, damage terrific so what your customers are looking for exactly when they're getting their mixed salads 
Uh, you know, the road, I, obviously we have, I think, different people look at different areas, but I, I think one of the big things is shelf life. They want to have something that they know when they get is not something that's going to go, go bad very quickly. They want to have something that really has good taste. And they want to know about, you know, where, where this product's being grown, who's growing it, you know, safety issues, other things that might be taking place in the facility. Uh, we're very open to having people come in and be able to see our operation, but not to mention be very, you know, open about, you know, how we grow. Um, and having you know having something that we can provide to people and really stand behind our words so if we say it's going to have a shelf life of 12 to 18 days uh, on our documentation you know that we can stand behind that terrific you utilize a lot of high technology here and one of it is hydronose floating raft technology can you talk to us a little bit about the system and what some of the advantages you've seen from this floating tray I've grown just about every type of uh, hydroponic system you can be in, from anything from NFTs to aeroponics, I've done aquaponics, I've done beta buckets, every type of substrate that you can think of. What I really like about the Hydrono floating wrap technology is really being able to maximize the footprint in here. So really other than maybe a four foot walkway on the far north side of the house is just our transport for the boards going to the rear of the facility. We're able to really maximize the footprint in here and be able to do a really dense seating uh, per board. Also this type of like a floating wrap technology, you're in a deeper bed of water which when it comes to hydroponics, it's a little bit easier to really maintain your base EC, your pH, and your oxygen levels in this type of uh, system. It's a little bit more passive as opposed to some of the, like the NFT systems or some of the aero, aeroponics, uh, where you might have the, uh, a little bit more fluctuation in those ECs. So I really just like just the, the feasibility of it and just the being very easy to be able to maneuver uh, the trays on and off the water and be able to maintain you know what's going on below the water. Can we just take a quick look for our viewers who haven't seen a floating tray before? Yeah, I've got a tray of the what's called a dinosaur kale, or some people also refer to it as a lancinato kale or Italian kale. Uh, so this kale and the baby leaf, we sell, sell this not only in food service packaging, we do this also in the clamshells. So you got your baby leaf, uh, kind of taking that name of dinosaur kale, because as it gets a little bit older and elong elongates, it kind of looks like the back of a dinosaur. Uh, it will get a little darker green as it ages a little bit more. Uh, but a very tender leaf, so this could be put in, you know, in fresh salads, it could be juiced, it could be put in smoothies. Uh, you can also take this and some people wilt it and maybe use that, you know, on a plate to plate up some other type of dish, but use it as a wilted green first. Terrific, thank you.